Hi guys, I'm just an average musician and I've been trying to get my uh, GoPro to record my guitar, figuring out ways to sort of um, attach it on there like I've seen some vi in some videos. So uh, I'm just going to give it a go, show you how it's done. Alright, so I've got all my GoPro uh, paraphernalia here. I've got my GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition uh, with its case um, because apparently I'm going underwater. Uh, I've got my suction cup mount thingy. I've got my clamp mount. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, I've got my adhesive mount which I had stuck on my guitar uh, which I'm hopefully I, hoping I can restick. I've got my tripod adapter because GoPro is stupid and doesn't come with being able to connect to a tripod. I've got my extend the uh, arm thing which I think is pretty cool, we'll see how that goes and what I will be recording with is my Yamaha uh, acoustic, not sure what model I've got my Yamaha bass which I picked up in Japan which is super cheap, super cool I've got my Gibson Les Paul Special which is my baby and I'll be recording out of my Yamaha THR10 now uh, just uh, connected just for the record, it's not sponsored by Yamaha, I just think they're practical. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my piece of guitar here, and I'm going to get my suction cup mount and stick it on the neck right here. This actual mount is really cheap, it's all plastic, uh, so if you do get one of these, you might want to fork out. Um, because I expect this one to break on me at some point, but for now it serves its purpose. So, I've got my GoPro, and the other, the other thing that's really shit about this is that you can't adjust this very easily. So, basically, now that I've done this, I'm going to have to take it all off. Alright, it's kind of looking down the, looking down the neck. Is that looking? Alright, that's kind of... Now let's hope everything's in tune. I'm going to try using my clamp mount. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. It's pretty good quality, but this doesn't appear to be very uh, solid. I mean, and it's rubber, so it shouldn't hurt my guitar, but it doesn't appear to be holding very well. So it's got a, again, uh, just like the other one, this has a, a tripod screw, which the GoPro stupidly doesn't have. So put that on, but at least with this freaking one, you can uh, twist this rather than this suction cup mount where you can't twist it. You can see I've got my base here, I've got my clamp imaging and that just clips on there, try and get it in the, in the center, try and get it to look sort of down the guitar, that's uh, kind of looking down the fretboard there, good view, okay uh, let's see how we go, now if you can notice that this wobbles and kind of falls so it's not all that good. I mean, if I wanted it to stay on there, I'd probably have to duct tape it, which is kind of shit. I don't really particularly want to be wrapping duct tape around the neck of my guitar. Wine break. Ah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so uh, I'm going to record the next bit and... If I fucked it, that'll do. Now, for anyone that has a Les Paul Special, you know that it is painted. So this is not a, uh, doesn't have a gloss coat on it, so it's painted. So, this will not stick. Will not stick here. See? Just won't stick. Alright, but I do have a scratch plate, so I can stick it here, which is, I guess, an interesting angle. So, hey, there, boop. I think we're good. Okay, scratch plate on here, which is a gloss finish, so the suction cup mount sticks. But of course I can't turn it because it's shit. All right.
Tungaloo! This is coming off and we're going to get the uh, adhesive mount out and my extender arm. I'm going to show you how that works. So, now I had this on my guitar before I did this and I took it off because I got my uh, clamp mount which I thought would be so much better and really isn't at all. So, what I'm going to do is re-stick it on because, to be honest, I had that stuck on and there's... I pulled it off. This thing is fucking sticky, but there was no mark at all. So, I'm pretty okay with having that on there, like so. Yep, and that appears to have already stuck. So, word to the wise, if you do have a GoPro adhesive mount, uh, you can unstick it and then just keep it in glab wrap and it will re-stick. Alright, so I've got that slotted. So that's connected up. This thing is a bit of a bitch to use, but it seems pretty handy. So what I'm going to do is connect this up to my guitar head and see what this looks like. Now what the extender mount should do is give me a bit more height so I can look down on it. But what I have noticed is that, especially if you're standing up, um, this will get a bit wobbly. It's not too bad. It's not too bad because I've got it on the middle one here. Middle one here. But if I have it sort of as extended as possible, like right up to the tip, it will uh, wobble quite a lot. But anyway, let's just go with that for now and record this last little section. Go ahead and just mix that up, put some drums in, and I'll show you what it's like, and then I'll have some comments at the end, I guess. Yeah, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I've gone over the, the GoPro footage, you've probably had a look at it and made your own judgement but for uh, for me, uh, I think out of all of the bits and pieces that I've bought, the most useful will be the suction cup mount, even though I can't stick it onto the, the end of the, the neck on this guitar, I can't stick it on the scratch plate, I can stick it on my acoustic, which is fine, seems to look good, you can't stick this on the head, headstock of the guitar, which is annoying. It seems to be, I guess, the most versatile and, and kind of the best one. It doesn't shake, even though this is the shitty, shitty quality. Uh, I would advise getting a good quality one of these if you intend to use it and stick it onto a, a, a car or anything else. The clamp mount is pretty crap, so I thought that this would be the best, and it seems to be great in principle, but it's pretty crap. When you stick it on the uh, end, end of the guitar, it wobbles just not tight enough. I guess if it was a lot tighter you might actually damage the headstocks. The adhesive mount seems to work reasonably well um, and for the headstock I think it's the best. Uh, if you've got a lacquered guitar then I don't think you have a problem with it taking any of the any of it off. I've had this on and off and I haven't had a problem and this is a painted guitar so I don't know if you leave it on there for like a year and then take it off then you'd have some problems. When you clip this on Using the normal GoPro stuff, it's not tall enough. It's not tall enough to get a good view of the um, of the neck. So this getting an extender arm like this 
um, seems like a really good idea, but if you are up and down, this becomes quite wobbly. It's not very solid. All right, so that's all. I uh, hope you kind of learned something. I know I was speaking really fast and making lots of fuck ups, but you know, I'm just an average musician. It's what we do. All right, peace.